off a YouTube welcome to this very special battle between myself and MGO Rick I am MGO Dion and I am commanding the Russian army in front of these Prussians here Rick has this vodka guzzling Russian army in front of him and well he's decided to position himself in the corner now this is a very difficult situation for me for a number of reasons just putting it lightly I have a list of reasons that I am got the odds stacked against me pretty hard here but the battle isn't altogether lost it's just I'm gonna have to be a little bit more smart about how I conduct this and he's got me outnumbered light infantry wise so you know I'm kinda hurting for skirmishers and it's not like Russia has good skirmishers to begin with, so I'm kind of screwed there no matter what. But it's because my light of are at so much of a disadvantage here that I'm not exactly scared of them taking fire. So I'm going to use them to soak up some of those Prussian likes fire. And it's actually going to work out for me quite well here. You see, he barely took some shots from some of my units there. And then he moved up and took another volley. And then he's going to try and move up with the other unit and he's going to take another volley. So I kind of set up in a very smart way against him right there to where I would have an advantage. So he is basically getting screwed by inferior numbers as of right now. He's struggling to move his slight infantry in any kind of advantageous position to where they can bring their massive firepower to bear on me the way he needs them to. But again, he just took another volley, and then I'm, you, I moved up my mounted Jaegers. Get up a nice little shot on his Prussian Fusiliers. He's going to be convinced from that to pull back and abandon that attack altogether. So I'm doing relatively decent here in these small engagements, because these are what you're going to have to do to set up and try and find an opening for you to conduct your main attack. You know, this is how you deal with cappers most of the time you want to make small engagements to test them to see how willing they are to commit to an actual fight or to see how able they are to commit to a fight well now I've gauged Rick enough to where I'm confident to go ahead and make a major move here you see I'm watching three musketeer units down the center and I've got two Cossack cav spearheading it Gonna clear the way and force some line units in the score formation for me. These musketeers are gonna form up into a battle line. Nice volleys right there. More mounted Jaegers coming up behind them. Devastating barrage coming straight through his center. He's gonna react to it with some counter charges. But now I'm going to Shift over to my other flank in a second here. Conduct the other half of my attack. Now, his cavalry caught one of my mounted Jaeger units right there. I'm going to lose some horsemen as a result of that. But no major damage. He's going to be forced to withdraw from that. So I've conducted the first part of my major attack with relatively decent results. That's going to trigger the next phase of my move. The attack over here to his left flank. Excuse me, his right flank. Opening up with cavalry. I'm actually doing a very, very well executed attack here too. You can see the level of coordination I have with this. It's just it's extremely precise. This level of precision is not very commonly seen amongst even the best of players to pull off an offense with this well coordinated like I am doing but I've got cavalry charging all across this formation as of right now and I've got him outdone in the cavalry fight and it's causing him to be so disrupted to the point where he can't form any kind of battle line to fight my main attacks coming at him and I will tell you this is pretty hard to do against a nation like Prussia in a situation where they're corner camping like this, you know, Prussia has every advantage that counts. You know, basically every advantage that matters. What does Russia have that's better than Prussia? It's just cavalry, really. Russian cavalry is superior to Prussian cavalry 
but Prussian everything else is better than Russian line or lights or anything really. The only thing Russia has is its cavalry. So like basically to sum it up how I did this, it can also be applied to beating any other camper that you would encounter. It's that you have to be a little bit lenient in committing your forces because like you can take some casualties to trigger you being able to launch whatever your advantage may be. So like if it's cavalry, for instance, well, don't be afraid to lose some of your light infantry and some of your line in order to commit those cavalry. Because if you can impress that advantage, then it should more than make up for the losses you take at the beginning. So that's basically what I did. So Rick here, he's, he's still got some cavalry left at this point, which is very impressive on his part. That he still managed to keep his cavalry units, but it's still not going to do him much good by now because I have shot, I have shot down enough of them to where they're not nearly that potent anymore. So it's really GG at this point already. Because if you look down, you see the balance of power is starting to shift in my favor, clearly. So yeah, it, and I've broken his formation on one side. Like his formation has been completely scooped away from the red line on my attacking flank. So it is GG at this point. Hopefully you would have learned something from watching this on how to beat a camper. There's always a way to beat a camper, needless to say, because when they camp, they lose the initiative. So if you can press and take advantage of initiative, you can find some sort of way to break whatever kind of camp they set up. Whether it's corner camping or hill camping or whatever. You know there's always a way to beat a camper. Because they lack the initiative. If you can press initiative against them then it, you should be fine 90% of the time. Anyways this has been MGO Dion signing off. I'm going to leave you to watch the rest of the video. Please enjoy it. I will see you guys later.